Hi welcome, today I am going to explain about the film, Jungle Cruise. Spoilers ahead watch out fully. Spanish conquistadors visit South America in the 16th century in search of the tears of the moon, a fabled tree whose petals can lift any curse, heal any wound, and cure any ailment. After most of the soldiers die in the forest, the survivors are nursed back to health by a native tribe using the tree petals. The Spanish destroy the village as a result of their refusal to reveal the location of the tree, and as payback they are cursed with immortality and the inability to leave the river's site. When speaking to a group of English explorers in 1916, Dr. Lily Houghton and her brother McGregor describe Lily's research on the tears of the moon and how the petals could revitalize medicine and support the war effort. The Houghtons ask for access to an arrowhead that Dr. Albert Falls discovered and that Lily thinks will be crucial to finding the tree. Lily grabs the arrowhead when the association declines their request because they think the tree is a fiction and a woman scientist, is unfit to join their ranks. She barely avoids German aristocrat Prince Joachim, who also desires the arrowhead and the tree. Frank Wolf entertains guests on his jungle river cruises in South America by adding fictitious perils and stupid jokes. He tries to steal back his boat engine after businessman Nilo takes it. When Lily catches him in the act, Frank impersonates Nilo and boastfully tells her that the tears of the moon are a myth and that she won't be able to handle the perils of the jungle. However, he quickly changes his tone when he sees that Lily is holding the arrowhead. The real Nilo arrives, exposing Frank's trick but Lily still hires him after he underbids Nilo and valiantly repels a jaguar attack. Frank, Lily, and McGregor set out in Frank's boat, but they are nearly stopped by Joachim himself attacking in a German submarine, mercenaries paid by him to get the arrowhead from Lily, and Nilo trying to get his engine back. Lily questions whether Frank can be trusted once it is discovered that the jaguar that attacked them was actually Frank's pet Proxima, because they ventured too far from the river, the cursed conquistador's bodies have turned to stone and have become plagued with tree roots, snakes, and insects over time. Joachim finds the cursed conquistadors. By changing the course of the river, Joachim sets them free and offers to help them break the curse in exchange for assistance in locating the arrowhead. When Lily breaks into Frank's cabin, she finds research on the tears of the moon as well as photos and drawings of new inventions like the automobile and the arrowhead. Lily accuses Frank of wanting the tree for himself but he claims he gave up searching for it a long time ago and assumed it couldn't be discovered. They are attacked by a tribe of cannibals who demand the arrowhead, but it turns out that Frank was working with a friendly tribe to pull another con. Lily rejects Frank's apology and claims that he was unable to scrap the plan. Trader Sam, the tribe's female leader, translates the writing on the arrowhead, revealing the location of the tree, and that it only blooms under a blood moon. The arrowhead is taken by the conquistadors during the raid, but Frank manages to reclaim it and give it to Lily before being stabbed in the chest with a sword and dying as a result. To avoid being pursued by the Spaniards, Lily flees the river. After that, he spent some time trying to find the tree to break his own curse, but was unsuccessful because he lacked the arrowhead. The noble goal of the search for the tree was to save the expedition's leader's sick daughter, but when the natives came under attack from the Spaniards, Frank changed sides to defend the villagers. Frank imprisoned the others in a cave far from the river after years of fighting. 
Lily and Frank make the last trip to the tree while an injured McGregor stays behind with Trader Sam. Joachim captures McGregor and coerces him into disclosing the location of the tree. Frank, Lily, the Germans, and the Spaniards all converge on the tree, which begins to bloom under the blood moon. As they struggle, the moon disappears swiftly, and Lily is only able to salvage one petal. Frank wrecks his boat to block the river after McGregor kills Joachim, turning himself and the other Spaniards into stone in the process. After using the petal to resurrect Frank and end the curse, Lily realizes that there is still one petal available for her research because of a change in the moonlight. She delivers a corny joke herself, shows Frank around London, and gives him his first driving lesson in her car. Lily has been extended full membership by the Society back in London, which she declines. Thanks for watching this awesome recap. Subscribe for regular movie updates.